Well, this thing is just tremendous. Prion Marlin. I have all my life uh, been thinking about sea kayaks and wondering about sea kayaks and sort of thinking about it and then getting, not getting, nah, not getting so. Finally, here we are in a sea kayak. Ages and ages and ages I resisted a hard shell kayak. Um, but here I am, captured, and it's really, really good. This is a, uh, a sea kayak. Yeah, I had a pinning scare. Okay. Uh, in Scotland, I was uh, going on whitewater course, and I made a mistake with a river that was tidal and uh, had a pinning scare and so I got nervous about hard shelled kayaks. So a lot of those nerves have been uh, eased by going canyoning and uh, whitewater SUP and all that kind of stuff but here I am back in a hard shell kayak and just loving it. It's a fabulous thing this Prion Marlin in the light uh, Prylite version of it. I can easily lift it onto the car. <laughs> it carries a bunch of stuff. Uh, it's if it's empty, it's really got a. It's quite twitchy and it's fun to play in. But you can load it full, and the shape is such that it then just becomes a kind of a barge. Um, very stable and forgiving. So I'm out here on this thing. Um, as you can see, subskin. Uh, vest and I have in the back in here a really nice touring uh, spray deck with the little pocket here so you can put some pieces in S61 cat phone little dry bag in the front there inevitable flask of coffee Yeti if you haven't yet discovered Yeti wide mouth flasks do yourself a favor and get one it's awesome you can just clip it into things it fits in places all the right ways it's bomber hot, there's no cup to lose, and you can just clip it, it's great. So, going for a little tour today on my lake, just, yeah, keep your spirits up, keep your spirits up, go in whatever nature you can find, just go for it, They're within the rules you can do it things that you can do and just breathe it in realize that what's happening to your head is a normal response completely reasonable response to a completely unreasonable situation it's impossible to know what's real but when you go outside in nature it's real okay this is real and you need to put some input into your senses that you can be relying on that you really know are correct and make sure that ratio is pretty good at least 70 30 80 20 is better 85 15 is a good mix because you do need a little bit of information about what's going on but go and do things that are real and patterns in nature and patterns of movement that you're used to uh, do things with your body, drum, or learn some new skill. And uh, we'll get through this because the challenge is really mental and, and moral at this point. So, Faith, that's the name of this book. Just letting the wind push me across, slightly healing the boat. It's so comfortable to sit on this thing's uh, secondary stability. It feels a lot like my black canoe, so it's got a lot of, uh, it's not initially very stable, but it has lots of secondary stability, so I'm just slightly lifting 
my left hip so that I just show a little bit of a uh, hole to the wind and it lets the chine dig in and it's just pushing me across and I'll do a little stroke once in a while but you have to make efficient use of wind yeah look at that. great goes across wind really nicely but if you just let it drift it takes this angle here which is really great that uh, means that you're not trying to turn down wind all the time um, but it's interesting it wants to point a little bit upwind rather than downwind I think I'm used to uh, so much used to being on the lake with things that have got fins in the back I'm used to things wanting immediately to point downhill but this basically just stays put where you put it uh, moves upwind a bit I guess it's uh, sort of a, a wind vane sort of a shape but definitely if you just leave it it goes upwind so very cool I like this boat very reassuring I'm going to get a little uh, really hard, heavy-duty, uh, small Ortlieb dry bag for the day stuff that I can then also use as a little fender. And also I'm going to put a, uh, a better paddle stuff at the front, but I think I'm going to get a, uh, a Greenland paddle for this thing anyway. Ah, I just love it. I, I took lots of footage over there and I don't know whether you'll be able to have, um, because of the wind, whether you'll have heard the voiceover. So a couple of really interesting things about this boat is that it wants to go upwind. So it's quite easy if you if you completely let it be, if you don't do anything and just sit there, it'll point about 30 degrees off the wind and lie to very comfortably. So interesting, very interesting. And then crosswind, it's, a, it's easy. You just make a little contact with the braces and the feet. Um, and just uh, relax your hips and everything is good. It does want to turn up wind then as well, so you need to... But that's great because it's, uh, that's, you know, if you're going to be taking a break or needing to paddle a bit less hard, especially over long distances, you want it to turn into the wind because then you can just lay to for a few minutes. The boat is very stable because the waves are coming from the front. Um, you don't have to worry about rolling, you can do stuff. It's almost like heaving too in a, in a sailboat, so I just love this thing. Plenty of secondary stability, as you can see. You just make a little bit of contact with your hips to the to the thigh braces, which are very comfortable, and you just relax your hips and just turn the hull a little bit to the uh, weather, whichever it might be. And you can do it the other way as well. It's, it's a little bit weird at first, because it feels like it's tippy, but it's not. So you can compare the feel of it a bit like uh, riding a kind of a lively pony but one that's basically good mannered uh, mountain horse. So here are the fittings very comfortable in their pegs and if you have it the skeg will be there. And I'm wearing my sup skin and nice light boots so I can feel the boat and just uh, yeah make contact. You don't have to like clamp yourself in but just kind of make contact and then it's very uh, amenable to uh, all sorts of different uh, body positions. So. And you can literally just sit here. Uh, I noticed it also in the little waves out there, you just sit and it does its own thing. Cool. So nice, there's enough texture on the lake today, so these little different shapes of waves, there's enough of that texture to really uh, feel how the boat moves. Great. Really, really nice. I like it. <sighs> nice. These paddles are quite uh, kind of poppy. Big touring scoops. Uh, they're really kind of grabby and sticky in the water. They're not that super for sculling, but they're really good for uh, just getting forward. So, yeah, yeah. Nice 
nice shape. Definitely. Good for what it is designed to do.